In this video, I will show you how to write the equation of a circle given different types of information. Um, for example, given the center and the radius, which is super easy, but also if you're given the center and a point on the circle, or if you're given the endpoints of the diameter, which is a little bit more interesting. All right, let's wrap this up by doing a few problems in the other direction. Let's write an equation of a circle with center 2 comma negative 4 and radius 5. Now remembering the standard form equation of a circle, the, um, the H and the K is the center. So this will look like the opposite of H and K when I put them in the equation. So um, since I have a positive 2 right here in the equation, I'm going to have minus 2 squared. Because I have a negative 4, um, in the equation I'm going to have y plus 4. All right, it's always going to be the opposite of these two. Okay, now this end of the equation is the radius squared. So if if um, the radius is 5, then I should put 25 because it is the radius squared that belongs here. Now, number 8 is going to take a little bit more work. Um, they gave us the center, but instead of giving us the radius, they gave us a point on the circle. Now, here's a possible picture. If the center is 1, 2, and a point on the circle is 0, comma, negative 3, then it makes sense that the distance between these two points is going to be the radius. So um, if I can just find the distance between these two points. Now remember the distance formula. The distance formula says the distance between two points um, will be uh, x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. All right, this is how you find the distance between two points. So I can really just cross out distance and put radius, and I can just use the distance formula um, in this context. So that's what I'm going to do. So as we discussed, the radius should be the distance between the center and this point on the circle. So I can find the radius by using the distance formula, which tells me um, x minus x. So I'm just going to do um, 1 minus 0 squared, and then y minus y. So that's actually going to be 2 plus 3 squared, because y minus y, I'm doing 2 minus negative 3, so that's plus 3. All right, so this should give me the radius. All right, 1 minus 0 is just 1, so that's just 1 squared plus 5 squared. Okay, so the radius is going to be the square root of 1 plus 25. So the radius is going to be um, the square root of 26. Now, imagine that I squared both sides. Um, here's kind of a trick. All right, normally we want the, uh, the variable by itself. But in this case, I'm going to square both sides, and I'm going to get radius squared is equal to 26. Now, in a moment, you're going to see why I did that. Okay, because now I want to write the equation of the circle. Now, remember that this is the standard form. The center goes here. It'll be the opposite. Um, in the equation, the numbers will be the opposite of whatever shows up in the center. Okay, so since my center is positive 1 and positive 2, when I write my equation, I'm going to have x minus 1 squared, and then y minus 2 squared. Okay, it's just the opposite of this and the opposite of this, boom, boom. Um, now, what goes here again? Let's be very careful about this. At the end of the equation is not the radius, but the radius squared. That is why 
I went ahead and uh, squared both sides and found that the radius squared is 26 because that's what I need to put here is 26. And that's it. This will be the equation of a circle that has a center 1, 2 and um, passes through the point 0, comma, negative 3. Okay, let's see if we can do number 9 in a similar way. Write the equation of the circle that has a diameter with endpoints 9, comma, 4 and negative 1, comma, 0. Well, here's a picture of the situation to help focus your mind. The word diameter means a segment that passes through the center of the circle um, going from one side of the circle to the other. Now, in order to find the equation of a circle, the key thing that we need above all else is the center. We need to know what the center is. Um, hopefully you can see that the center is the midpoint um, of this diameter. So that's sort of the first thing we need to do is um, we need to find the midpoint. Okay, now the midpoint, um, whenever I do the midpoint, I think the word average in my mind. Um, because you know how if, if you had an 82 on one test and then you got a 98 on another test, how would you find your average test grade? You would add them up and you would divide by 2. So the midpoint is just the average of the x's and the average of the y's. So it's sort of like um, x plus x divided by 2 and y plus y divided by 2. It's the average of the x's and it's the average of the y's. So we're going to take the um, find the midpoint using the midpoint formula. So let's do that right here. So midpoint. Okay, so the midpoint, we're going to take the average of the x's. So we're going to do um, 9 plus negative 1 divided by 2. And then we're going to average the y's. So 4 plus 0 divided by 2. So that's going to be 8 over 2 and 4 over 2, which reduces to uh, 4 comma 2. So this is the center of the circle. All right, so we have found the center because it's the midpoint. Okay, now let's look back at our diagram again. So now that we know that the center is 4 comma 2, um, the other thing we need to find the equation of a circle is the radius. So this is the radius right here. It's the distance um, between the center and one of the points on the side of the circle. So it doesn't matter whether I use the negative 1 comma 0 or the 9 comma 4. We should get the same answer either way. Um, calculations with 0 are easier. So I think I'll actually use the, the point negative 1 comma 0. All right, so the radius should be the distance between these two points. So I'm going to be using the distance formula, um, but in this case, the distance is the radius. Okay, so let's calculate that now. Okay, so we're going to find the radius using the distance formula um, from the center to this point. So the distance formula is x minus x. So I'm going to do 4 minus negative 1. So that's really 4 plus 1 squared. And then it's y minus y. So this will be 2 minus 0 squared. So this is going to be the radius. So this will be 5 squared plus 2 squared. So that's going to be 25 plus 4. So that's going to be 29. 
But just like the last problem, what I really want is r squared. So if I square both sides, I'm going to get just simply 29. r squared is 29. So using this center and this r squared, I should be able to easily write the equation of the circle. Um, let's start with the center. All right, remember how the equation of a circle goes in standard form. All right, x minus h squared plus y minus k squared. So the minus h and the minus k means I do the opposite of these numbers inside the equation. So I'm going to have x minus 4 squared and then y minus 2 squared. And then remember, right here goes r squared. And we just found that r squared is actually 29. So we will simply put 29. Okay, and that's it. All right, one more problem. An air traffic control tower can detect airplanes up to 70 miles away. A plane is 48 miles east and 41 miles south of the control tower. Is the plane in the tower's range? All right, here's my control tower. And my plane is going to be um, 58 miles east and 41 miles south. So um, here I go, 58 miles east and 41 miles south. So this is 58 and this is 41. And so here is my plane. Okay, so um, we need to figure out the distance from the control tower to the plane. So that's just going to be the hypotenuse of this right triangle. Um, so I'm just going to use the Pythagorean theorem. All right, so this distance right here, um, I'll just call it D, is going to equal... Um, you know, so a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So d squared is going to equal 58 squared plus 41 squared. Okay, so squaring each of those, I get 3,364 and 1,681. Add them together, I have 5,045. If I take the square root of both sides, What do we get? All right, turns out that this plane is 71.03 miles away. So this is 71.03 miles away. Um, is the plane in the tower's range? No. Um, the tower can only detect a plane that's 70 miles away. This plane is 71.03 miles away, so that's too far. Now, I'm realizing that I just did this whole problem without using the equation of a circle, which is what this um, unit is about. So probably, here's what they were shooting for. If we consider this control tower to be 0, 0, on a graph, um, so now the equation, uh, all right, imagine a giant circle that this plane is on. Okay, so yeah, think of this circle as, uh, think of this plane as being one point on a giant circle where the control tower is at the center. Um, because the center is zero comma zero, the equation for the, this circle will be x squared plus y squared is equal to radius squared, all right? There's no h, there's no k. Um, so the, the plane, because of the um, right 58 down 41, the coordinates of this plane are 58 comma 
negative 41. We could substitute these values into the equation of the circle and find the radius. Um, so if we did that, if we put the 58 in here, so I have 58 squared, right, because that's my x value, and this is my y value, all right, so that would be negative 41 squared. That should give me the radius squared. All right, so just like we got when we were thinking of it as the distance formula, we're going to get the exact same numbers. Whoops, I put an extra 3. Okay, so we, we still would have found that the radius was 71.03, which is outside of the range of the control tower. All right, um, but this is a way of looking at it that allows us to use the equation of a circle, which is probably what they meant for us to do. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Go ahead and click here in the red apple to watch the next video. Click in the green apple to subscribe or click the yellow apple for the full playlist.